Hey folks, welcome into Great Gadgets and Gizmos. I'm Lou and today we are going to be talking about the HTC Touch Pro. Uh, this particular one is from Sprint, but you can also get it through AT&T where it's known as the, uh, the AT&T Fuse. Um, the Touch Pro is sort of the big brother to the Touch Diamond that HT is made, uh, HTC has made out there. But you can see down here we've got some hard key buttons at the bottom. Uh, there's a button down here for home. You've got a, a key to operate the phone to either pick up the receiver, just like the old fashioned phones would do. And then uh, I just got a, a voicemail in fact on there. And then over here you can see there's a back button. That's what that arrow is for. And um, and then we've got a hang up key down there as well, okay? This is a selection key. This actually will uh, scroll through different menus. You can uh, touch the sides of it are all sensitive. See how I'm going through different programs and things just by touching the side of it right there. It's moving the uh, programs at the bottom of the screen. Oh, there's Sprint TV. I can go back home just by touching the home button right there. Um, overall, I love this phone. This is a great phone, very well designed. Um, it feels very, very good in the hand. When you hold this, it feels very substantial. It's very well made. It's um, a little bit thicker then a lot of people you know might like a phone you can see it's got a nice nice chrome finish on the side right here um but i don't mind that because it has a little secret that it's hiding it has a keyboard built into it and that's what separates this from the uh, the touch diamond is that there's a built-in keyboard so when you close it right there see how the screen switches when you open that keyboard boom just like that um, there's an accelerometer in here as well um, which you can use for games and emails and on the internet and stuff like that great keyboard on this you can touch type on this with your thumbs with no problem there are number keys all the way across the top they're dedicated so you don't have to switch in and out of uh, different fonts to uh, go find your your numbers they're right there uh, some function keys built into this well they did a really good job with this one I'm very very happy with this phone let's look at the outside of the phone again I'm gonna go to the over the shoulder shot here the outside of the phone you can see on this one side there we go on this side right here folks um, they actually give you a little stylus that comes uh, with the phone as well. And if you've ever had a PDA before, a smartphone, you know that you really want to have one of those. What's cool about this is it, it clicks in here with a magnet. See, just snaps right in place. And when I pull out the stylus, the screen's going to come on, and that's because there's a magnet in here that actually turns that on. Uh, on the bottom of the phone, there is a mini USB port. The mini USB port um, they use on this to uh, power the phone, to charge it, and it does come, of course, with the AC charger included with this. Um, use that with a mini USB cable to uh, sync with your computer, or you can use that to um, listen to the headphones that they give you with this as well. Um, they all fit into that mini USB port, and those headphones have a microphone built into them so you can take phone calls. On uh, this side of the phone, there's a rocker switch right here, which is going to control the volume your phone calls and your system you know ringtones and notifications and things like that and then on the top of the phone you've got a power button right there so all that built in the phone the cool thing about this though is that it's from HTC and what HTC has done with this phone you can see it's a smudge magnet just from touching it a couple times it's already all smudged up uh, what they've done with this phone folks is they've layered on top of the Windows uh, Mobile um, 6.1 Pro, which is on this, that's the uh, operating system on this. They put what uh, HTC calls their touch flow technology. And what that basically is, is if I touch the screen here, I can drag my finger across just like that, see? And that's the touch flow technology on this that allows that touch screen to behave this way. And they've actually put that on top of um, the windows uh, that's in here. Now notice this, I can go to my weather, you get little animations, see that? Little animation comes up with that. The internet on this is really cool as well. If I go to the internet on this, it uses the uh, Opera Mini browser. I'm gonna double click on that, we'll start that. Um, the phone works on the Sprint, this one anyway, works on the 3G network and it's um, on the Sprint um, EVDO Rev A that they talk about. Now watch this, if I turn it sideways, the accelerometer kicks in and the, and the phone actually changes orientation. Then when I pop it open, of course, I can use that keyboard to type of emails or text messages or whatever. A cool thing about this is that this right here, notice it's flashing down there every once in a while. It's telling me that I've actually got a message waiting for me. I can rotate my finger around this and it actually zooms in to specific portions of the page and then I can use this to kind of move around, make selections on the page. See how easy it is to do? Click right there, it makes a selection. Now, as I said, it, this is on the EVDO Rev A. See how fast I came up right there? It's still loading the page though, but you know, it also works on Wi-Fi. It has the B and G variety of Wi-Fi built into this one. So, um, you know, when you're at some place that has free Wi-Fi, like at a, a Starbucks or a Panera or any place like that, you can certainly use that on here as well. Um, you know, in the hand feels really, really good. A lot of folks out there might say, well, it looks like it's kind of big and it's kind of heavy. You know what? It's not a big and heavy phone. I've got here an iPod Touch, which essentially is the same thing as the, um, the iPhone uh, in terms of form factor. And you can see right there, in terms of size, you know, yeah, the, um, the iTouch is a little bit wider. It's a little bit longer. But here's the real difference right there. Because you've got that built-in keyboard, notice how much thicker the Touch Pro is as opposed to, say, the iTouch or, the, uh, or an iPod uh, phone, iPhone. So you can see right there that that's one of the factors of this. Now, this also has a built-in camera, okay? 
And the camera on this is really cool. It's a 3.2 megapixel camera. It has a built-in flash. They call it a flash. It's really sort of an LED light that comes on. It's a 3.2 megapixel camera. It takes nice pictures. It takes great video. The, the phone itself actually um, has a 512 megabytes of ROM built into it, which means that's how much storage you get with the phone. It comes with an XD card that's one gigabyte in size. You can put in this to give you additional storage. You can put your pictures in here. You can put your photos. You can put music, you know, whatever you want. It does come with the headphones. It has all that built into it. So a lot of great features in this phone. Of course, the coolest thing about it is that keyboard that we were talking about earlier. I mean, when you open this up, you know, for me, I'm kind of a, you know, a fat finger kind of guy. Like if I'm using a phone that's touch screen only, I'm going to have problems with it. And you can make your selections here as well. You know, if you want to go to like, for instance, if I want to go to my uh, texting right here, you can see I can just call that up like that very easily. It shows you all the conversations I have. That's the Touch Pro. It's made by HTC. As I said, you can get it on the Sprint network or you can get it through AT&T. There it's known as the Fuse. And um, I'm Lou and this is Great Gadgets and Gizmos. We'll see you next time.